Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we have some amazing news guys. So after playing Brawl Stars since the day it came out and making content for probably like the past four years, also playing competitive of course, I have finally received my first creator code. Uh, you can now use code OG in the shop to support me and I would really appreciate it. It helps me make more content for you guys. In the honor of the code, we are going to be taking down a little trip down memory lane. Uh, just about like some iconic videos I've had not iconic but like for me like you know like highlights like milestones stuff like that I thought it'd be really cool for everyone that's new or just like a nice like bit of nostalgia for everyone that's been here since the beginning myself included so yeah let's get into it all right so I started playing Brawl Stars the very first day it came out I had some really good friends uh, I was in a clan in Clash Royale called Montreal Elite shout out Montreal Elite never forget you guys but uh yeah and they told me there's this new supercell game coming out or that came out and it was called brawl stars to try it out i didn't really like the game at first i was like pretty into clash royale but then i kind of like forced myself to play for a few hours some of my friends i was like all right it's kind of fun like it's growing on me a lot brawl stars was very different back then as you guys can see but uh <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty much how it started off. After that, I would uh, lead some clubs like Montreal Elite, Van Stars, Epics, uh, all of those, and uh, I would get number one on the ladder a few times as well. And uh, oh yeah, of course, shout out to Unity, all the guys from Unity. All right, so fast forward like a year or two, my first YouTube video ever. I know, I knew I wanted to try doing YouTube for a bit, just. Uh, Honestly, I just wanted more money from the game, uh, complete transparency, and I wanted to see like how much money I could make from the video game, and I wanted my first video to be a banger, so I pushed my bow past a thousand trophies in the old trophy system. That was a pretty big deal. There was no such thing as rank 35s back then. Uh, trophies reset was super harsh. The game was really bad as well. So yeah, I managed to get my bow to like a thousand twenty something like that, and I made a video on it. It did really good for my first YouTube video. All right, fast forward a few weeks weeks from then and my friends shout out to sword and doma i think it was just them they found a glitch that pretty much broke the entire game it was like an infinite trophy glitch and they showed it to me i'm like yo you guys gotta let me make a video on it <laughs> they're like i don't know like it's kind of cool we want to keep it to ourselves i was like yo i'll give you like 50 dollars or something like that so i think i gave them like 50 dollars each or something if you make a youtube video on it and uh yeah luckily they let me make a video on it because it blew up it got like 90k or 80k views and i remember we were just sitting there like in bc like watching it go up, like every time i refresh go up like 100 views or something like that it was literally groundbreaking like infinite trophies guys um but yeah, luckily they did manage to patch it and it was for informa informative purposes only. I did not abuse the glitch at all. I would never abuse a glitch. Tier three content creator here, guys. Don't glitch. My most iconic YouTube video of all time has to be after the 22,000 trophy push. Now I still get recognized by this like all the time to this date. I guess it was pretty crazy at the time and it was just something that the whole community was kind of watching. It was me against one sick. One sick, he made it very hard for me. Um, but yeah, I did manage to prevail in the end and I did not sleep on days when Siege was out. I miss you Siege, come back soon. Uh, but yeah, pretty much I played for 24 hours when Siege was out and then like 14 hours, something like that on the days when Siege wasn't out because Siege was double the trophies. It was twice as long, but you could definitely like, you know, I got pretty good at Siege that season to be honest. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone that helped me with that push. You guys are much appreciated. And you can just see how like tired I looked in the video. Uh, I was very sleep deprived, but yeah, definitely my most iconic video. Now the first tournament gameplay that I ever uploaded, uh, which is kind of like the blueprint for my Power League videos and like all my competitive like analysis videos to this day, was I think it was the first edition of Queso Cup and I was against Nova, which at the time was like Cory, Spin LC, Portal, Shadow, um, and yeah, I had Alec and Squashy on my team, I'm pretty sure. We, we were a team to be messed with back then. We were really good. Roll with the ball, and I think that's one of the things that made us win this game. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we managed to win, get the win in it. No spoiler, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it already. But yeah, I did really well as well. And that's kind of like, I was like, all right, people like watching this kind of content, like I'm gonna keep doing it. And that's always been my favorite kind of content to make for you guys, honestly. Around the same time, I was signed to my very first esports org, Tribe Gaming. Still got the chair right here. Let's get the chair on camera first. Shout out to Tribe Gaming. They are an amazing org. 
nothing but love for Tribe Gaming, Chief Pat, Don John, everyone who makes Tribe what it is. Uh, yeah, uh, Chief Pat and Don John kind of gave me a little pep talk in Dallas, so I'm definitely gonna be pumping out videos a lot more consistently now. <laughs> Part of me was always sad I left Tribe, um, but I just really wanted to play with Bobby, honestly. So. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Tribe Gaming. So yeah, a few months later, I would leave Tribe Gaming to join SSG so I could play with Bobby and picked up Squashy at first, but then Squashy, it didn't really work out with him. He had like some family issues and we ended up playing with Tyrant Star for a little bit. We would fall just short of making Worlds to come in second, but uh, yeah, everyone played really good. It just didn't really work out between the three of us back then. And then a few weeks later, I kind of had like a boomer moment and uh, my YouTube got hacked and I wouldn't be able to post for a few months. So that was pretty rough. I didn't know I was going to get my channel back. I was kind of freaking out. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of like when I started not doing content as much because I literally didn't have my YouTube channel. But it's just frustrating like seeing someone like delete like 150 videos that you worked on and like you've been building up this channel and like people are like unsubscribing i think i lost like at least like 2k subs um which kind of sucks but you know i'm motivated to get them back and everything after that i was pretty inconsistent for a little bit with the content i was just focusing on comp a lot we had a really tough year a lot of like hardships just outside of playing the game it was super messy i don't want to get into it too much but it was a very hard year on me and Bobby. Uh, yeah, after that though, we figured our contract stuff out and we joined Tempo Storm and Alec joined us as well. Shout out to Alec. And uh, me, Alec, and Bobby did our iconic 2000 Brawler trophy push. So I was on the spike, of course. Uh, Bobby was on the Gene and Alec was on the Carl. And that was a pretty, uh, pretty extreme push. A lot of community support as well. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun too, I enjoyed it. And then after the 2000 trophy push, I was pretty sleep deprived. I put out a tweet, I have a lot of tattoos you guys probably see, probably have seen. Um, so I put out a tweet where it's like, all right, 2000 retweets and I'll get a spike tattoo. I got like 2000 retweets like by the time I woke up, which is like 10 hours, like 12 hours later. So I should have done a higher number. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did end up getting a spike tattoo as you guys can see. It's still there, it was not a temporary tattoo. So yes, yeah, so I do have a brawler tattooed on my finger for the rest of my life. And then, yeah, fast forward to the next year, I was focusing on comp a lot as well. We were kind of having an up and down season. Uh, I think we were just out of world's qualifying spot for most of it. We were in third, top two went this year instead of top one. And then we picked up Czar halfway through the season. And uh, we really, like, after that, I think we really started to click. We had some a few monthly final wins. We started winning some other tournaments, which we didn't for, like, a very long time. Tribe was going crazy for, like, a year. Year, uh, or like a year and a half um, but then we finally made worlds which was awesome my first uh, worlds event and unfortunately we did finish top eight but it was cool just to go there and uh, I did go to worlds in 2019 Korea I didn't get to play it was so hard just watching everyone play when I thought I could play like better than like a lot of them there um, but yeah I finally got a chance to play on stage and just kind of like prove that we're like among the best in the world. Yeah, of course, uh, by this point we've been on STMN for a year. Uh, this was our second year on STMN and probably our most successful year to date in esports as we made top four in MSI, which was really big. And then uh, we won a few monthly finals. We won every North American land event that year. I think there was like at least two. Um, and then we win uh, yeah, like I said, some monthly finals. We'd qualify for World again. It was really close. Definitely cut that one pretty close as well. And yeah, we finished top four at Worlds. We had some crazy games. We played against really good teams. Probably had the best reverse sweep on an international stage of all time as well. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun year for comp. Despite the ups and downs, I enjoyed the winning part at least. <laughs> and then yeah, that kind of brings us to where I am right now. Uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs this year, like there has with my whole career pretty much. Uh, definitely hasn't been the year I was hoping it would be. I haven't been able to play in a competitive tournament for like coming up on three months now, which definitely like breaks my heart a bit. But I'm by no means like done in competitive. I feel like I can still play and compete with like anyone in the world. I've really enjoyed making content for you guys though. The past like two months I'd say I've been focusing on it a lot more and you guys have been so supportive. So I just want to say like from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. Uh, 
it means the world that like after all this time like you'll still like welcome me back whenever I decide to make content but don't worry I'm not gonna stop anytime soon I feel like very motivated I feel like I've taken it for granted at different points in my career and I don't want to make the mistake again because I definitely do regret like stopping to upload and uh, yeah I really enjoy like helping you guys get better at the game helping you guys understand stuff and just like interacting with you guys you know like None of this would be possible without any of you guys watching right now. So just, yeah, thank you so much for making this possible. And I'm feeling really optimistic for the future of like content and even competitive. Like I know I'm not done with comp yet, I'll be back. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you that you guys support me like through all the ups and downs. I really appreciate it. And make sure you guys go use code OG in the shop to support me, it'll definitely help me. Uh, continue to make videos and just be able to play Brawl Stars, entertain you guys, etc. So yeah, thank you once again guys, I really appreciate it, I can't say it enough. And yeah, make sure you guys join my Discord, watch the stream, subscribe to YouTube, everything, and yeah, I'll see you all soon. Peace.